Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today's video is going to be about population genetics and questions are very easy. So I hope most of you would be able to choose the correct answers. So as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. Which of the following can introduce new alleles into the population's gene pool? And here is uh, four answers to choose from. Answer A. Mutation. B. Natural selection. C. Gene flow. And D. A and C. So, um, can mutation introduce new alleles? And what is a new allele? New allele is a just new version of the same gene. So, we have 23,000 genes and uh, every gene may have its own different versions. So, every single mutation would introduce new allele. So, um, next, uh, natural selection. Can natural selection introduce new alleles or not? And actually not. Natural selection only can influence frequencies of these alleles in the gene pool. So some alleles can be more beneficial than other alleles, can uh, be more effective. And individuals that has them may have some advantage over the others in the same group or population. So that means that he has more success in mating and leaving a progeny. So these alleles would uh, increase in their frequencies. But uh, natural selection doesn't produce new alleles or introduce new alleles into the population. So, uh, answer C, gene flow. And, uh, of course, gene flow can introduce new alleles. Imagine that this is North America, this is South America, and this is Europe and Asia, and here is uh, Africa, and about 300 uh, Years ago, uh, American colonizers brought some um, people from Africa to uh, North America and uh, from the point of view of genetics, this was not just uh, migration, this was a gene flow. Not only flow of people to new land, but also gene flow, because these people had uh, different allelic frequencies and now the effect uh, frequencies of these alleles in the North America. Now we are ready to choose the correct answer. Answer A, mutation. And uh, mutation can introduce new alleles in the gene pool. That's correct. And uh, answer B, natural selection. It cannot introduce new alleles. It only can influence frequencies of some alleles. And answer C, gene flow. Is also can introduce new alleles in population and that means the correct answer would be D. Next question. European and African uh, genes entered the gene pool of Vietnam during the 1960s and early 1970s primarily as a result of and here is um, three answers to choose from gene flow, migration and natural selection. So how European and African genes ended up in Vietnam in 1960s and 1970s. There was Vietnam War. American soldiers were descendants of the uh, Europeans and Africans. So they had uh, European and African alleles in their gene pool. And of course, when they met local women, they left behind uh, their alleles in the form of uh, their children. And so Vietnamese gene pool were um, affected to a certain level and gene pool changed. So uh, is it natural selection or not? Of course this is not natural selection. And now two answers left, uh, gene flow or migration. And was this migration? Of course this is not a migration because migration means that masses of, uh, for example, people or animals would move to a new area and would stay there and mix with uh, other 
representative of the kind of species so we cannot say that uh, Vietnamese war were migration so we can cross out this answer and as you see this was a classical example of the gene flow so answer A and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye